So strangely enough, Spirit had led me to the sign to see that actually too much joy will make the mind weak by not keeping it in tight focus. It'll be too slackened. It's, it'll be too loose. So as this relates to our immunity and our immune system function is very greatly because when, if we don't have that mental awareness and turned on, we're going to allow things to pass through, whether it be mind control or some type of physical pathogen. So, um, or, or, or lack of mind control. You can be mind controlled by somebody else or you can mind control yourself, meaning you have control over your own mind. So, but... Funnily enough, I came across uh, this video that a uh, Chinese medicine doctor had explained that actually too much joy in the heart can cause a weakness in your heart and a slackening effect in the mind. And I didn't know whether it was the wheat that I ate yesterday or uh, this reason. And today I ate more wheat and I did not have an asthma attack. Now, my asthma attack isn't just asthma it's asthma triggered from cat allergies exponentially compounded by the pollen so when spring season came i had gotten a multiplication effect of allergies because allergies work in that way they don't work in the way of allergy plus allergy now in your immune system it's allergy times allergy so the effects increase i had gotten very severe but Things are coming down. Uh, it's been 10 days since I've been on a natural technique of Chinese medicine, Qigong, and Buteyko breathing. Now, this is a very underheard breathing method. And basically, it uses the Bohr effect. So B-O-H-R had found that carbon dioxide in the lungs actually transports the oxygens to the cell. So when we're having an asthma attack, we're actually having a lack of oxygen to the cells, right? And hyperventilating isn't gonna do anything because we need a certain amount of balanced ratio of carbon dioxide, which comes from holding your breath and breathing out slowly to the oxygen in order for the oxygen to even be absorbed. So definitely check out more of my videos because we go further into that. Let me know if you have any questions about your cat allergies because you definitely can cure them um depending on where you're at and your health uh journey and spiritual connection will determine how fast you can actually cure them so i'm on day 10 i'm feeling a million times better so go ahead and check out the videos in the link below for more information on the chinese medicine um discoveries and well insights really because they've been around for way longer than uh, western medicine but um we don't want to say Western medicine is better, and we don't want to say Chinese medicine is better. We want to use the tools that we have gathered here as a global network of consciousness and species to go ahead and use all the tools of the globe that Mother Nature, the Great Spirit, God have provided us for all of us to be here, different regions, we're one globe, we're not separate. And, you know, hate the white people or not, we're the ones, not even me, I'm not white, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm here, but actually I'm Italian, so you can consider me black, and I'm a lot Spanish too, but I do have that Irish side as well. But digressing, uh, you know, the because I consider myself a spirit. A lot of you guys consider yourself you're stuck on Earth, you know what I'm saying, and not like your spirit into Earth. You feel like you're you are your ancestry. I don't agree with that. I don't agree that uh, just because I was born in this family, that they're like connected to me in any other way. Uh, other than just the physical world, you know, so it's a good thing we can just check out history and not be so attached to it because it's not really who we are. You don't have nothing to do with it. You only believe that you do. I mean, you know, you do have a real mother and father and uh, so do they. Um, but, you know, basically before that, you, you, you didn't know who they were, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, they live in your biology and we always want to give gratitude to the ancestors, but they're just a metaphor for us limitly expanding our consciousness into eternity to create balance and find within ourselves the ultimate sanctity of peace and nirvana so 
I went off on a tangent there, but I, you know, some things just have to be said. Um, but yeah, you know, the, what the white people did was they went ahead and made the whole world global. You know, everybody would have stayed in their own little tribes, but white people said, no, we have to make sure the whole world becomes one. Now they have a certain uh, evil agenda and it's not just the white people, it's all the people on top of the command chains. Um, they wanna make you white versus black, Asian versus white, white versus Asian, Asian versus black, all that shit, white versus black. They wanna make you all that shit because they're the puppet masters pulling the string on the chessboard. And once you start falling into um, just like clumsiness of, you know, not really understanding things and just basing it off of your feelings and not intelligence, well, you know, you're a pawn and you're not using your intelligence. So that's what these videos were for to help you, but especially in the terms of cat allergies because it can be cured. Um, it's no fucking question about it. And, um, you know, definitely share your results down below, questions and comments. And like I said, we need the whole world's herbal medicines through the globalizations from the white people in order to actually create the most healing potential effects for us. We are not only our tribes. We are not only our um, current surroundings. There's a whole world to explore and that and more. You know, this is the, not the only world out there, not the only matrix, you know. Don't get stuck here, all right? Limit hit expand and don't reincarnate into their digital reality. All right, check you later. Peace in and out, yo.